Hi. Please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Johnny Slump, and I am a senior systems engineer for Altia. Uh, Altia is an embedded tool chain expert. Uh, we're in over 100 million devices in the world. Um, we run on all sorts of different systems from the low end to the very high end, uh, taking your graphics, whether that's 2D or 3D, uh, generating the code in a very optimized embedded fashion and letting that run on the hardware of your choice and the display of your choice. Nice. What are some of the latest platforms you show here? Uh, so we have quite a few platforms. Uh, over here, this is running on the Renaissance RCAR E3. Um, you have two displays here. You have uh, the HUD display on the right, which is 2D content, and on the left is 2D content on the left and the right, and full 3D content in the middle. Nice. So this is the, uh, they call it the R-Car E3. Is it powerful, on yes. A53? That's right, seven? that's right, yep. And running free RTOS in this case. Um, with a OpenGL ES 2.0 pipeline uh, for 3D and a DRW2D for 2D. What's happening there with the charger? Yeah, up here we have a model of a car charger. It's running a real car charger inside. This is running on the latest TI Satara chip. Nice. Are these actually deployed or are they just prototypes for now? These are prototypes but running the full board inside. What is the advantage on the, having a touch screen like that? What is it going to be able to do? Yeah, so you know, you'll come in and have you know, change your charging power. It'll give you the remaining time that's running. Um, we'll go back here. Um, Perhaps people yeah. could enter their email and, or phone number and get a little message when it's finished or yeah, something. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Maybe. this is yeah, of course we're just showing off the charging. UI that's presented to us um, in, in the most optimized fashion, running on the hardware. Nice. Yeah. And what do we see here? So over here, this is our uh, integrated cockpit for electric vehicles. It's running on a Qualcomm uh, 8155P. Um, this is actually running um, natively in Green Hill's operating system, the cluster display here. This is a full 3D display. Uh, and then over here, this is running on a multivisor. This is running an Android subsystem. Um, three windows here. Um, this one's running 3D here. 3D here, uh, everything can be rearranged, and we can bring up uh, different windows as well and rearrange them. That's a lot of graphics on one, one SOC. On one SOC, yeah, the Qualcomm. Um, and this is quite similar to the kind of thing you might see on the latest GM vehicles like the GM Lyric, where they have a 34-inch uh, kind of pillar-to-pillar -pillar display um, that is actually running all TM. And, uh, this is a pretty big car to have such a big display. But some of them have you know, these giant displays. They do, yep. The Cadillac Lyric being one of those. A lot of the newer vehicles you're seeing that um, kind of all started uh, in, the, in the earlier days from the very small displays and just kept growing and growing from uh, between the cluster, the entire cluster becoming digital, adding in the multimedia section uh, and infotainment, and then now integrating it all into one full display. The advantage here with the, we call it the SA815SP. Yeah. Uh, so it's powerful, one of the latest ARM designs. And That's then right. It maybe has baseband, include 5G and everything potentially. That's right. Then, yep. Uh, it has all those options built in, all depending on what the OEMs and the tier ones are looking for. All right, and sometimes when there's a next gen, you, you can port all your solutions to next gen and just keep improving? Absolutely, and one of the advantages of Altia is that we are um, operating system and processor and BSP agnostic. So once you have your design, you can change the chip as you need to or the operating system uh, and then just redeploy to that hardware and it will just continue running just as it were before. Nice. And. Um, just behind you, it's a little bit busy right there. Yeah. We tried to see if we can uh, sneak in and film this kind of stuff over there. Sure. Uh, it's been busy here at the Embedded World? Yeah, very busy. Um, you know, this is, I don't know, we've been in Embedded World for maybe, I, I don't know, quite a few years now at least. Um, it's been very busy. It's a, it's a great booth. We're fortunate enough to be near the entrance of Hall 4 here um, and having just a lot of, of traffic and, and interested uh, appointments and, uh, yeah, throughout the days. All right. Let's see if we can. Uh, but they're right in the middle of showing something. They are, yep. Checking yep. some stuff out. But uh, right there, I see NXP. Yes, uh, um, so on the end here, we have the NXP IMX uh, 
8 so, M plus. So yeah. what's happening with this NXP here? Yeah. So all three of these. You can speak um, there. From there. Yeah. All, all three of these uh, are running our medical demo. Um, this one is running both the OpenGL ES stack, uh, both 2D and 3D um, in real time. Um, and then behind that, you'll find the SDM. Uh, 32H7 and the SM32 MP1, uh, also running the same design. All right, uh, let's try to see if I can uh, sneak in here for one yeah. second. Uh, sorry, can I film right here for a second? So, uh, so, yes. so what are you showing here? Yeah, so on the left, this is the uh, SDM uh, 32, this is the um, MP1, and it is actually running, switch displays here. So this is running a 3D model. You can see the, uh, the human body rotation. Also the option to, from Alti is you can just flip that over to run 2D, so simulated 3D on a lower end processor. On the STM32H7, this is only running our 2D stack, fully optimized uh, for that processor. Stack, but it looks yeah, but it appears to be three. Yeah, I mean, it appears to be three D, right? Yeah. And what's happening on the screen here? All right, so on the screen, uh, we have a new system called Altia Cloudware. Um, Altia Cloudware, uh, in the modern days of distributed teams, uh, it's often hard to get the the hardware to those engineers. Uh, and to ensure that the hardware is and software is fully synchronized. So board revisions, BSP revisions, the operating system build, all those things have to be in sync. So what we've created uh, is a way to put the hardware up in a kind of a server farm in the cloud. Um, we have, I think, seven different systems right now. And what that means is that you can open up the Altia Design Editor, that's our GUI uh, creation tool drag in your graphics 2D or 3D, and instead of deploying that to hardware that's sitting on your desk, you deploy it to the Altia Cloud. What that means is it sends up fully encrypted data, your fully encrypted design, compiles it in the cloud, and then deploys it to the hardware up in the cloud. In your browser, it will bring up a video display, um, which is you know video capture of the screen, but in addition to that, it has inline frame buffer capture, so true pixel perfect display of what you're trying to demo in the cloud. Um, so it gives you a lot of versatility and very easily can switch between different platforms um, and get up and running literally on hardware in minutes instead of weeks, months, or even years in some cases. Nice, so interoperability, uh, yes, absolutely. And, uh, long term support and all these kind of considerations yes. is how you work. Exactly uh, right. Yeah, Alti has been in this industry for almost 30 years now. Um, this is one of our latest innovations, Altia Cloudware.